What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here. Today we're going to take a closer look at the latest roadmap for Destiny 2. Now we got one just after the patch 1.1.2 which is about a month back. Last night they released an updated version of changes coming to the game so let's get into it. On February 27th we will get Nightfall scoring and high score tracking. Destination Emblem Variants, Crucible Emblem Variants and Nightfall Emblem Variants. These variants I do believe offer a certain team wide buff and they are also the new home to reworked others. This I'm going to gather more information on and bring you a video explaining exactly what this is pretty soon so stay tuned. Fire team members are on destination maps. This allows you to bring up your world map and it will show you exactly what area of that planet your fire team members are on. PC public text chat opts in, companion mod shader interactions and prestige nightfall challenge cards version 1. With the 1.1.4 updates to the sandbox and crucible on March 27th, we receive the following, weapon and ability sandbox changes. This is without doubt one of the biggest and most anticipated updates people want to see. So details here will be extremely interesting. Heroic Strike modifiers, I am Banner 6v6, I cannot wait for this. 6v6 in PvP will be absolutely epic, I am absolutely certain. Weekly Crucible playlist featuring Mayhem and Rumble. I know many people here will be happy about this. Me personally, I wasn't really a massive fan of Rumble, but I did indeed love Mayhem. Crucible ammo and gameplay tuning. Crucible quitter penalties. Repeat map and strike protection. This was annoying. Getting the same PvP map five times in a row was a bit much to be honest. Exotic repetition reduction. Now this was supposed to drop on February 27th. It has obviously been delayed along with Nightfall Strike Unique Rewards and Companion Vendor Viewing. These also were supposed to drop on February 27th. Moving on to the 1.2.0 update which drops in May. Eater of Worlds Prestige Mode. Seasonal Crucible Rankings, Private Matches, Vault Space Increase, Multi Emote, Exotic Masterworks, Seasonal Vendor Progression, Faction Rally Improvements and Exotic Weapon and Armor Sandbox Changes. Interestingly these sandbox changes were noted within the last roadmap to be coming in March. Obviously they're not happy with a certain set number of things and obviously have decided to delay them even further. Now these roadmap changes are not set in stone with these updates. As we have learned from the first roadmap to this one, things can be delayed. Also important to note, the changes coming in May with the 1.2.0 update could be up to two months after the March update. But in all honesty people, in my opinion that's fine. The changes they mentioned here coming over the next month could be enough to see many people head back into the game. The sandbox change are the real important thing here. What people want to see is faster movement speed and quicker ability cooldowns. That paired with 636 PvP and the changes coming to ammo and such could be great, making it fun and fast paced like D1 was. Also with the addition of Mayhem and Rumble, these changes could be indeed quite good. But I know what you're thinking, they are great for the PvP player, what about PvE players such as myself? Although some of these changes do seem great such as the emblem variants and the all reworking around them, also the nightfall scoring and so forth, they seem good but I still don't feel there is much here to bring the PvP players back. In May we get the next DLC, this for me logically is the time some PvP players might come back and see what's happening with the game. With the addition of some of these changes made within these updates, it could be good, we will see. I've said it before though, these changes seem to be built into a better end product. That end product should be in place within that DLC expansion too and when that drops. From there on, it should be onwards and upwards. But on that note guys, I am out. If you guys did enjoy the video, leaving a like really does help me out. Thanks as always for stopping by. If you're new around here and enjoy daily Destiny videos, even though it's dry, be sure to subscribe. But thanks as always for stopping by and hopefully people, I will see you on that next one.